12C of uh, Cody Winchell as he's battling for position. The white car is in the lead, the 13, now the 51. Uh, Brandon Rosbarski takes over the lead. Awesome camera work right there as we're seeing a lot of the cars. Do. Oh, big spin. Cars collecting everywhere. Big spin on the backside. That the, oh, little contact, a little shot in the shorts for the 71 of Pierce, it looks like. Let's go on board with Cody Winchell on the restart. Shot here, Ronnie moves out into first. Move Cody Winchell to second on the inside of Brendan Rasparski. Oh, here comes a challenge for the lead going into three and four as Cody Winchell goes down low on the inside of Sean Ian and Ronnie. That brings Brendan Rasparski along with him. Racing for a little contact between the 51 and the 13. Looks like we're going to have another challenge going into three and four from Brendan Rasparski on Cody Winchell. Hang on, hang on, coming around right there. Cody Winchell gets him at the line, barely. First is Cody Winchell, second is Brendan Rasparski, third is Sean Hingarani. Why is Sampson right there as he hit the other front straightaway? That's Cody Winchell, Ethan Nostamento. And Garoni, now they roll up on the 14 car of Josh Fleming, side by side again down the front straightaway. Give it up to your winner, coming down to turn number four, Brendan Rogowski. Rick, his dad giving him a big hug. Yeah, thank you, I put on a good performance. We had a good setup under us. Phillips in the 37 of Clayton Travels. Racing with the legends here at the Madera Speedway for the Reverend Rod Spencer Red, White, and Blue Classic. And it's up and travels out front. Winchell on the inside trying to make that pass on Travels. He'll make the pass down the front straightaway. Pitcher of the 405 freeway in rush hour. Winchell on the high side. He's bringing that 51B of Brendan Rizbarski right there with him. And as he's got there on Winchell, a little bit of luck. Got him a little loose as he come out of turn number two. He's going to make the pass down the back straightaway. Boy, it's a three-car battle, and look who's going to prevail. The 38, oh, damage, bam. We got cars everywhere, race fans. That looks like the 7K of Kenny Mitchell. That and travels. Oh, Rizbowski gets turned around, keeps it rolling. We lose the 7K of Kenny Mitchell. A lot of damage on that three car. Your winner will be the 38 of Robbie Zub. What does it mean to you to win this one tonight in the Inex Legends Tour? Oh, it feels awesome, you know, not to be uh, racing in four years and then hopping back in. First time with the new motor, the new Hoosiers, totally different car. It's been really cool seeing this tour this year with the Coombfields. We see all these sponsors behind us in this cool banner, and it seems like they're really raising the game. What's it like for you being a part of this series? Oh, it's great. Like, I, yeah, I seen how much they came from when I last raced. Like, they're doing an awesome job promoting it. And we're off and running with our Legends Tour Series from Madera Racing on MAV TV and a good start for Brandon Rusparski. I believe he's out of Sebastopol, he's right on top of these guys. A little bit of bumper tag there. Yeah, Bowman. Basically checking the bumper in the back of that car to make sure it's tight as it comes off turn number four, did a little dirt work. Oh, they're four wide. Oh, and Bowman almost in the grass. And now he's gonna get a bumper assist there, some tandem drafting partner from the 38. Almost resembles some uh, State Fair bumper cars for the lead. Oh! oh. Bowman going to try to make that pass. He's going to bring Winchell with him. And Bazin was already in the wall by this point. They're all going up for it. And oh. Yao. Cody Winchell gets the white flag. One more time around Madera, and they have to deal with a lap car. What will that do to the complexion of this? Uh, they both clear it. Bowman on the back of Winchell. Winchell defends the bottom. Bowman with a shot. Bowman cuts underneath him. Who's going to win this main event for $1,000? Turnabout's fair play. And Bowman wins it by 21,000.
early in the evening was the seven and for the 49th annual harvest classic here at the Madera Speedway. It's Wyatt Sampson, Nick Halen, Kevin Travels, Brendan Rusbarski from the 12, Zach Sampson, the 3 3 of Kevin Travels, and that 38 of Cody Winchell. Up in a lot more lap traffic, that's the number 37 car. The 37A of Aaron De Jesus is what they're going to roll up into. We'll stay green. Your leader's out of turn number two. Cody Winchell gets around Brandon Rizbowski, but there's two cars in the ways that come out of turn four. Side by side. The three is Zach Sampson in the 30. Halen got passed by the 38 of Cody Winchell. Zach Sampson right in the way, but here comes Brandon Rosbarski now on the high side, trying to get around that number seven of Nick Halen. After he led so many laps, he's gonna lose it, but now there's a gaggle of cars directly in front of them, side by side. Winchell out of turn number four, will pick up the checker flag. Cody Winchell comes home with the win. Race fans, he's out of the car. Driver, the number 38, he looks very tired. But this one brought to you by Hacienda Pools for the Legend Series here at the Madera Speedway on this 49th annual Harvest Classic. Yeah, I, get, I just gave it my all, man. I'm sorry, I'm speechless right now. I'm, just, I'm so tired. Feature, 35 laps of action. And it's Roseville's own Kenna Mitchell, who's gonna lead the field of green. Here we go. And Aiden Daniels really liking this restart as he goes to the outside of Kenna Mitchell. And he brings the 51 of Brendan Roosbarski, one of our points contenders, up along with him. So far, it looks like the outside line might be the place to be on the restart. Whoa, nearly contact between Mitchell and Roosbarski. And the 51 of Roosbarski makes the move. Brendan Roosbarski around the outside, and he's going to lead lap number four. The battle with Halen and Mitchell. Battle of the sevens right there. Will contact Kenna Mitchell hard into the wall. Everyone's struggling to avoid. Oh no, the 28 of Clark got a piece of the wall going around her. Well, that was an absolutely sensational restart for Brendan Roosbarski. Here comes the double O at Dickens, a crossover from Chase Dickens down the back straightaway. That bottom side hasn't quite worked, but can Dickens make it happen? He's got it. Dickens leads at the line. Brendan Rysbarski, the points leader coming into tonight, comes out of turn number four, $2,000 richer. He will win the Legends feature here at All-American Speedway. Pick up the main event win here at the All-American Speedway in front of this great crowd. What does that mean to you? Uh, that means a lot. We had a pretty good race overall, good weekend, quick times consistently. I'm really grateful to be here, really grateful for all you guys showing up.